Hello everyone, this is JavaScript beginner tutorial series number 27 and in this tutorial you are going to learn this JavaScript is array function method so how it works so basically I'm just going to take tell you about this is array method is function that is work to test a statement that which is array or anything else so you can test for using array statement for string and whatever we want so you can do the test over there so let's get started here. Now let's try to understand the array is array function method so for that i take it three variable here you can see variable a and the c b and c so i take the variable a which is i take an array element and this is for the b i take integer method which is number you can say and for the c variable i take a string over there so it is string so normally we can see that it is an array element and this is for this data type is a number and this is for a string simply normally we can know that but when we are going to do the test using that in function method in JavaScript, so it can be made take that analysis about it and it can be find us that which is array and which is not. So for that we have in the JavaScript specified the special function which is is array function. So we need to use that is array function. So we are going to do that in practical over there. So let's back to our code studio. Here you can say open visual code studio. There is the basic HTML file and I need to create a JS file and which is our is array. So is array dot this now save this file and we just need to hide this left side of window over there now just back to index.html file now connect it which is is array dot this and save this file so we are going to watching this live period we have already opened this browser over here so we are going to watch in the live period over there so now just back to here this is array dot this so first of all I'm going to take a variable so I'm gonna take a variable a and is equal to and I'm gonna creating an array over there for doing that live the first test over there so I'm creating an array and inside of it I'm just going to writing some sting and um, you can say it's I'm writing name so I'm writing here the name and then another name I'm writing it okay I just out it in this outside of this okay take another name and the last name of this array element I'm gonna take it so that's it I take this you can see here this four array element which is name then four name there so now terminate this now I'm gonna do it as a document printing over here so document dot write and print will be a variable now save this file so now you can see here this is the variable which is the basic element it was successfully printed out over there so let me make a heading like this also on there on the top so that you can watch the perfect lens you can understand perfectly so that you can ignore this one so let me add a after this added variable section I'm gonna add a and this is document dot right and inside of this I'm going to using that is to tag and inside of this is to tag I'm gonna writing is okay is array example and close that is to tag so now save this and you can see this is a similar like this so we have take this so this is basically heading of the example and we need to focus one inside of there so this is the basic array element so now we are gonna test it about it so first of all let me copy this line and get back to here and before there so it's have a special method for it so by default testing over there so we can take another variable over there so by, I'm gonna take a B and inside of this so it's have a method for the array writing so first we're going to take that array dot is array and then open the function over here the parenthesis then you have to write the variable name and then terminate it so now we need to specify this B variable on this document dot write a so here I need to write this b now save this okay now you can see it was showing the true over there so I need to add a break over this line so let me add a break okay now we have this two times of break now you can see here it is displaying that true so now if I'm gonna test it here this is basically array we know that so it was displaying that true so now I'm gonna hide this one and I'm gonna creating another variable the same name so which is a 
n is equal to i'm writing here this 40 as it is uh, we know that this is a string over this is an integer type it's a number so there you can see it was displaying that false and it was printed that 40 also over there so false because it is not array now i'm going to writing here the string now save it so now you can see it was still false reason this is a string it's not array so this is how basically you can check that array or not so this is the default checking but there is a true false value default value so we want if you want to do that some specify is printed over there so for that we can use that if and else condition over there so now let me remove this one okay not exactly this i just need to remove this variable and then take a if condition and inside of this if condition we need to just curly braces of this parenthesis end and then open the curly braces so then inside of it we need to print here so document dot write and here i'm just going to writing it's an array okay when it is array so it will be print this one so when it is else not array then it will be moved to the else function so else element so inside of it i'm gonna painting this the another one this document dot right and it's not an array okay i have added a comma it's no need record now save this file so there you can see it was displaying some error over there now click on to inspection mode and select the console so it was displaying that this is an element using the center the missing of the parenthesis after this argument and this is line number seven so this line we have a mistake over there okay we got it so now just close this one so reason you can see this is this needs to be a string type so we have write it as a basic text so we need to make it as a string now just here and there also a quotation one there and this section also a quotation this one here now it's perfect now save this you can see there this is the painted also the a array element this is element we have this variable a this is a string and it was painted and it was take that condition over here and it was said that this is not an array so that's why it was said that it's not an error because we know that this is a string so for example i'm just gonna hide this one okay not there on this start of it i'm just comment it and removing this and comment now when this is a array now it should be show this is an array now if we change the value over there so let me hide it and this is i'm gonna providing here the 20 so it was displayed the painted and it was displayed as not array so if we are going to make it as a string like 20 so it is 20 i'm gonna make it a string this was still it was that not an array because this is not array array will be like this type when we have some variable inside of this inside of this square bracket whatever we have this will be as a array as a consider to array we know that because array have the multiple types of element possible to add inside of this array and so you can see that this how actually that array testing is work is array testing so if you have any question about it you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoy this tutorial please like on it and share the video with your friends and please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon